So after watching this video, you should have um, a, a, feel a little bit more confident uh, using the, the wobble table and also this uh, genetic code with uh, dots, this form of the genetic code that we're, that we're using on exam, exam four and the final exam. Uh, first of all, I just want to emphasize that this table has all the information that a regular genetic uh, code table has. Uh, the, these uh, headings, on this, the, the row headings and the column headings, uh, indicate the, the codon positions on the messenger RNA. So if, we're, if we sketch here a codon on the messenger RNA with its three positions, we're talking about uh, what what is the nucleotide at this first position, at the second position is indicated here, and then at the third position is indicated by these little um, uh, uh, markers in the in the third in the third column, and this is this is the messenger RNA. We always read the codons as if we have the messenger in front, it, our messenger RNA in front of us, and then these are interpreted. Uh, we we bring some amino acid to decode this this codon, and it's helpful to draw uh, the, the tRNA that's doing that work, and we'll draw in the, the anticodon for, for that tRNA. This is the five prime end, this is the hydroxyl, the three prime hydroxyl end, which is going to be attached, isolated, uh, forming a ester linkage to some amino acid. And, uh, and this is the, the five prime end of the messenger RNA. It, it's probably much longer than this, but this is the, the polarity of the, the, the direction of the, the messenger RNA, always written, writing the codons in the five prime to three prime direction. The anticodons are, this is the first position, uh, the second position, and the third position. And at the, at the first and second position, we, we, uh, we can expect a precise, Watson-Crick type uh, base pairs, meaning U is going to base pair with A and G is going to base pair with C, or uh, C will base pair with G and uh, U with A. Um, there's no ambiguity as to the nucleotide identity at these at these two positions. But uh, at the third position, the so-called wobble position, things are much more permissive, and we can have uh, a single nucleotide at this first anticodon position with the capability of decoding several several nucleotides at this third codon position and 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 the ex expectations for those wobble pairings are shown in table 31.5 if we have c at this first anticodon position it should only decode g at this third position and uh, but if we have u at this first anticodon position According to the wobble hypothesis, we should be able to decode both A or G at this third position. And then uh, in interesting cases when we, we, the, the tRNA has a, an inosine at this first anticodon position, that, according to the wobble hypothesis, should be able to decode three nucleotides, three bases, U, C, or, U, C, or A. Now let's see if we can match up those patterns with what's going on in the in the codon table with, with dots. The, the dots uh, are uh, indicate which codons a particular tRNA can decode. And we see here in this, uh, in this box, uh, the, the box that's devoted to codons that begin with CU. So if we put CU here at this first and second position, and that we need to be able to interpret any of the four possibilities at the third codon position. And we see that the yeast cells, they have two tRNAs. Each tRNA is a string of dots connected uh, by lines. So this is one tRNA. It is uh, carrying leucine to the, to the uh, A site of the ribosome. And this is a second tRNA. It also carries leucine to the, to the, to the A site of, of ribosome. Um, differently, the difference is in their, their capability of decoding um, more than one uh, codon. This, this one here can only decode uh, CUU and CUC uh, codons. And so because it's interpreting both U and C, 
we expect that G will be here at this first anticodon position for this tRNA. This, this tRNA can interpret all four of the, the bases at, at the third position and is not found on your, on your uh, wobble table. There's no four, uh, there, there's no, uh, there's no uh, first anticodon position that can interpret four. But the identity of that nucleotide is given to you here in the table. It is a uracil. And so the, this table summarizes a lot of information where the authors, uh, Johnson et al., are questioning uh, how, how uh, valid is the wobble hypothesis? Are the patterns uh, that the predicted by the wobble hypothesis actually true? And this is one example where we see uracil able to interpret not only A and G, but also uh, U, U, uh, U and C. Uh, so it, it's able to decode all four of them. According to the wobble hypothesis, we would have expected this tRNA to only decode these two these two codons, but in fact, it can decode all four of them. Let's take a look at one more example, and that is that one of the threonine decoding, the threonine encoding codons. Those all begin with A, C, so A and C here, and then uh, they continue. We need to be able to interpret any of the four possibilities at this third position.